Fox report. Well, tomorrow was supposed to be a day of happiness. It was supposed to be a day of celebration to mark the third birthday of a little girl in Florida named Kaylee Anthony. But Kaylee has been missing since June. Her mom, Casey, is in jail. She lied to investigators, and there is no laughter inside the Anthony family home tonight. Just perhaps a quiet desperation. And what is no doubt an overwhelming hope that one day little Kaylee will come home alive. Investigators are doing their very best to figure out what happened to her. And today a sheriff's department dive team wrapping up a training exercise at a pond ironically near the home. A deputy says this was a previously scheduled exercise with no ties to the Kaylee case. However, he also says they located several vehicles underwater while finding no evidence of Kaylee. Detectives have said Kaylee's mom, Casey, has been less than cooperative when it comes to talking about what happened. And today, Casey apparently did not even want to talk with her own brother. He was scheduled to see her this morning. I've just been informed by the visitation supervisor that when the visitation session started, uh, Casey Anthony was not at the uh, visitation unit over in her uh, housing area. Uh, correctional officer came on the screen and told Mr. Anthony that Casey did not wish to have the visit occur, and uh, then he left. So Lee Anthony went back home without seeing his sister today and without the chance to try to get any more answers about what happened to the little girl who's supposed to be celebrating her third birthday tomorrow. Phil Keating with the news live in Orlando. Hi, Phil. You know, this has been such a tough time for the family. The Anthony family is under unbelievable stress. Number one, the granddaughter has been missing for nearly eight weeks now. The child's mother, Casey, the family daughter, remains in jail, basically accused of making the entire story up, plus the massive national media attention that it has just devoured this neighborhood with trucks and lights and cameras. And then compounding it all this afternoon, the mother of Casey, Cindy Anthony, the grandmother, said is that unless something absolutely incredible happens tonight, there will be no birthday party for Kaylee tomorrow. I'm sure she's gonna. It's gonna be as rough on her, rougher than it is on me. Um, you know, she's, that's all she's been talking about is that she hopes that Kaylee will be home for her birthday. And with that hope, then she was hoping she'd be home as well. So um, we'll just have to keep praying that that happens. And Cindy Anthony adds that tomorrow will be equally traumatic for her daughter Casey who in jail because she says the last time she visited with anyone in the family was with her father last Sunday and she said all she did was cry while in jail and ask questions about Case, about Kaylee. Julie. Mm. Phil, we're hearing more about some more possible inconsistencies with Casey's alibi. Yeah, last night the Sheriff's Department released some more of its findings poking holes in her alibi. Number one, they checked all of her phone records. And on the day of July 15th, Casey claimed that she spoke with Zenaida Gonzalez, the alleged nanny, and talked with her daughter Kaylee for a minute. They said there is absolutely no record of that on that day. A midnight phone call from her ex-boyfriend. The next call was at 3 in the afternoon from a guy named Kyle. Also, in her phone records, nothing for a Zenaida Gonzalez, nothing for a Juliette Lewis, one of her friends, nor a Jeff Hawkins was one of another of her friends who she claimed is the guy that introduced her to the nanny. By the way, he rebutted that by talking to us directly, saying he never mentioned anything about a nanny, barely knew Casey whatsoever. And then the revelation that Cindy Anthony actually washed a gray pair of slacks that were in the back seat of Casey's car prior to that car being impounded. Uh, investigators suggesting that potential evidence was flushed down the drain. The family defends itself by saying investigators knew for two full days that car was in the driveway and never confiscated it. Yeah, Casey's mom actually washed a lot of that clothes, so yeah, it's definitely flushed down the toilet, that's for sure. Phil Keating, thank you so much. A lot more coming out now about the strange case of Kaylee Anthony. And Greta has got the goods. She's got it all this weekend with a special investigation. Cops, cases, and clues, the search for Kaylee Anthony. As Shep says, gotta go to Greta Saturday night at 9 Eastern. We're getting word of another... Uh, okay, we're going to move on to another story. We're sorry about that. On any given Sunday, you can find him.